I've had a situation that's been on my mind for the last couple of weeks. There's been something gnawing away at me that I've had to deal with and I've been avoiding it, okay? And what happens is when I avoid stuff, it starts to affect me physically, right? Not only does it happen to me, it happens to everybody else on the planet as well. So I kept saying, yeah, I'm going to give time to deal with that. I'm going to give time to deal with that. And I kept avoiding it. So today I was in Drogheda and I was doing a bit of study and a bit of research on resilience, right? Resilience of all things. And I was doing other stupid things as well, banking and paying bills and picking up washing powder. So I'd done about half my jobs and I was walking down uh, the main street in Drogheda. I never know the name of any of the streets in Drogheda. Uh, how I find out where I'm going is uh, by describing the restaurants on the streets. So I was going down the main street in Drogheda and I found myself veering off the path that I needed to be going on. I knew where I was going, but I physically veered to the right. And it reminded me of a story that a client told me. She was late for me one day and she got lost in her car. And she said, I didn't know where I was going. I just followed the car. <laughs> That's for you, dear. So anyway, I was veering to the right. And where I was veering was over to the church. Okay. Now, I'm not a religious person. I do love churches. I like the way they make me feel. I like the silence. I like the peace. I like the calm. I like the serenity. You can probably hear that I'm a little bit upset. So... I'm being drawn over to the church. So the spiritual side of me was bringing me over there and the human side of me wanted me to go and buy the washing powder. <laughs> but the spiritual side of me knows better. So I'm being pulled into the church. And when I realise I'm walking up the steps, I went, oh, okay, this is where we're going. So I went in and I did what I normally do. I marched straight to the top of the church. And my husband always says to me, Nick, when you go into churches, why do you just make so much of a fuss and go straight to the top of the church? Because when I'm going into a church, I'm not going into mess. I'm not hanging around the back of the church, pretending that I'm half in and half out. I'm going straight to the top of the church because I'm doing business. Okay, it's like I think I'm going to be heard quicker or something if I'm at the top of the church. So I sat down and then I went straight to my knees. And I started praying. Now I wasn't saying religious prayers, but I was saying my own little prayer in my head of what was wrong with me, of what was on my mind. And I made a promise to myself that I wasn't going to leave that church until I'd made a decision about the thing that was bothering me. And I got really still and I got out of my head because I was doing what I shouldn't be doing, which is thinking with this. Okay? Because this is scrambled eggs sometimes. We need to get out of this. So I brought the focus down to my gut and I started thinking from my gut. And as soon as I got still and listened and when I was thinking from my gut, the answer came to me straight away. And as soon as I got the answer, then I got 15 other answers about similar situations. Okay, it came like a snowball. So now I have the information have the awareness and now I'm going to take action okay the purpose of me doing this live stream is to let you know that no matter what problem you have it ain't going away people it's going to go out if you ignore it it's going to go out into the ether do its thing and it's going to come back to you but when it comes back it's going to come back bigger okay now luckily I didn't let this situation go on too far I'm going to be able to deal with it now do not ignore it Okay, get still, engage your gut and listen and the answer will always come.